Hey guys, NextGen Tech here, back again with what will probably be the last and final video on the 2022 ROG Zephyrus G14. So today, I will be showing you guys how to optimize the battery life on your ASUS G14, but take note that this will significantly degrade performance. If you do anything that requires any extra horsepower, I would probably just recommend to run it in silent mode um, and just take your 3-4 to four hours of battery life, or bring a USB-C charger with you. Either one works. But for those of you that just need to do basic web browsing and anything that isn't too demanding, I highly recommend sticking through to the end of the video if you want to add 4-5 to five hours of battery life and don't really need that extra punch while on the go. And with that being said, you know what time it is. Cue the intro. Take a breath before my ego pop. Play a set like I'm a handmade prop. So first, make sure you're already on battery, and just like in my video where I showed you guys how to keep your G14 running cool and quiet, link for that in the top right corner, uh, press the M4 key at the top of your keyboard, just above your function row, to open uh, Armory Crate, and then uh, you'll want to set your power mode to silent. In my experience, silent, I've gotten better results than the Windows option and the manual option with pretty much everything turned down. Um, but next, you'll want to go over here, and turn off panel overdrive, then uh, turn on panel power saver. This will just pretty much lower the power usage of the display a little bit, so definitely helps. The last thing on this page, you'll want to put your GPU mode into eco mode. Um, however, if it doesn't let you do that, then just go over here to the top uh, to device that has the keyboard and mouse logo, then ROG Zephyrus G14. And then here, go to GPU power saving, um, and then right here it'll show you a list of processes uh, that are using your discrete GPU. So if there is a list here, you'll have to hit stop all in order for it to let you switch it to eco mode pretty much. Um, so just make sure there's nothing super important in there and then uh, you should be good. But that's pretty much it for Armory Crate. So now go down to Windows Search um, and then type in power and then edit power plan. Then you'll click change advanced power settings um, and then go down to processor power management maximum processor state um, and then set it to 30% while on battery. Um, this will pretty much limit the processor to only using 30% of its power while on battery. The reason why you'll want to turn that on is because sometimes programs will call for more resources than you want it to, to take pretty much um, so it will use more power than you want and it'll kill your battery so um, just do that so that it doesn't accidentally boost too high um, now you'll go to processor performance boost mode and change on battery to disabled um, this will prevent your processor from boosting same thing as the last one pretty much um, but if that option isn't available to you then um, here's a clip from one of my last videos to show you just how to do that uh, what you'll want to do is just press Windows key and R and then type in reg edit as you can see there. Uh, go ahead and open it and then what you'll want to do is go to H key local machine, uh, go down to system, go down to current control set, control, uh, look for power, then go to power settings. And then find the one that's 54533251. Open that. And then the next one starts with BE. Here we go. BE337238. Uh, and then from here, you'll want to go to attributes. And then uh, change this value to 2. Now, with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. Then next, go down to switchable dynamic graphics. This one is important. Go to global settings on battery force power saving graphics so this will like as soon as you plug unplug the ac adapter it will completely disable the discrete gpu switch to integrated graphics um, immediately saving you power and you don't have to worry about the gpu randomly turning back on um, so i definitely do that um, but that's pretty much it for the power options some other things you'll want to do uh, to save power is to lower your screen brightness, um, turn off your keyboard lighting, and lower your refresh rate. Uh, but now since we made those changes in the power plant settings actually, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to make sure your display will automatically switch your refresh rate from 120 to 60 as soon as the AC adapter is removed. Um, so first you'll just want to right click on your desktop, uh, go to display settings, 
then go to advanced display um, and then set your refresh rate to 60. Uh, make sure you're unplugged when you're, uh, you set your refresh rate. The next time you plug in your AC adapter or if you happen to have it right next to you, you can go ahead and plug it in. Um, I have mine right here. So it's going to switch to the discrete graphics card. Um, it still says uh, AMD Radeon graphics um, because they're both Radeon graphics cards, but just make sure your refresh rate says 120 hertz once it does switch like that. But once you do that, every time you unplug the AC adapter, um, as I can do here, um, it will switch back to 60 hertz and back to 120 hertz as needed. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and let me know in the comment section if this video was able to help you out in any way. Lastly, if you haven't already, uh, go give my other videos on the G14 a look and subscribe if you want to see what I have next in store. Later.